pleasantly surprised where you're at at the moment? Yeah, it is a little, you know, we've taken a few injuries, but um, then again, we're playing playing some good footy and that's just good to show our depth and how, how our young players are coming through and playing well. Looks sort of horrible with uh, Stewie Cramery on the weekend, but it sounds like it's, it's turned out okay. Yeah, I think he's had some scans and it shows, you know, no structural damage and no ligament damage, so we'll just, you know, assess him through the week and get, you know, get him plenty of recovery and see, see how he pulls up. Is your hunch mate, that he'll play or...? Oh yeah, we're you know, pretty positive. So we'll just yeah, as I said, we've got to wait and see during the week, and you know, give him plenty of recovery and see see how he pulls up. He's met some big challenges already this year, Carlton, Collingwood, but uh, is sort of West Coast the ultimate challenge in footy at the moment? Yeah, well they're undefeated, so they're they're playing some good footy. I guess yeah, it'll probably round seven see see where we're at playing a team who who hasn't lost a game and you know playing really good footy. Sort of reset your goals internally. Give me one five of the first six. Can you sort of? Sort of reset it a little bit. Yeah, I think you can start to you know work on another phase of we've played you know six games now. Look at the next five and and wait until the bye and then uh, see see where we're at there. And uh, but we still like to work you know, week week after week. And yeah, obviously this week's going to be a challenge. What do you think will be the biggest challenge this week? Um, oh, going you know playing a team who's who's in really good form and. You know, we've we've played you know two good teams in you know Carlton and Collingwood back to back and and played pretty good footy. I think now now we see where we're at when we've you know beaten um, Brisbane and then come in and play West Coast. Hey, Hilly and Michael are uh, out there uh, in the rehab group. Uh, how are they coming along? What's the latest uh, on their sort of uh, timeline? Yeah, I'm not not too sure. They you know the next couple of weeks maybe see see where they're at this week and and get them training. They're out there now, so uh, we'll just you know see how they they pull up and. Yeah, we'll go from there. And just in terms of your uh, training loadings, a lot's been made of the uh, soft tissue situation. Have you guys eased up a little bit over the last couple of weeks, or is it uh, what sort of phase are you in at the moment? Oh, you know, we've we've had a plan from the start of the year, and I think you know I think it has eased off, but that was always the plan. So um, the the fitness staff are doing a really good job, and you know, we'll, we'll have some players coming back in the next few weeks to really strengthen the side. It was a four-day break, then a ten-day break. Is it nice to get a little bit of normality back, knowing that you're just going to be playing footy on a regular basis every six or seven days now? Yeah, it is. We, uh, you know, we we had a we had a tough run with you know a four day break, but then got a bit of a rest up into a ten day break, and now now it's sort of, you know, we play seven seven days uh, apart for the next you know five or six weeks. So yeah, it'll be nice to just uh, get into a routine and, and train well. Collingwood got off to a slightly slow start on Friday night. Is it hard coming off a ten day break to sort of get going in the early phase of the game? Yeah, I think sometimes it depends how how you've trained during the week. You know, some people might drop off a little bit because they think they've had the ten day break. So, um, yeah, we just sort of uh, tried to work hard during the week, and and yeah, we we happen to come out and play some good footy. Keith, one of the hot topics at the moment is players playing for head high tackles. Have you noticed a trend developing this year? Um, oh yeah, there's there's a lot of teams getting some some high tackles, but then again, it's it sort of comes down to your own team and how you how you sort of combat that with your technique and tackling. So um, yeah, we'll just go into this week with you know get lower and harder and sit and yeah, hopefully that'll that'll be the way to go. Do you think you'll watch a fair bit of vision about the Eagles? Is one of the most renowned at it? Um, no, not really. I don't think it's a, a big issue. You know, we've got to play our style of football and um, you know that sort of stuff's on the side and yeah, don't read too much into it. I want to talk about crackdown on tags this weekend, but didn't seem. Much different out there? No, not at all. Um, yeah, it's just, just you know, you've got to stop their better players. So that's just that's just part of football. And um, yeah, I think the scragging and that sort of thing sort of been there. But um, yeah, I, I don't think it was too much on the weekend. So it was good. Yeah, Lloyd said yesterday he thinks this team's capable of being a, a top four team this year. Is that realistic? Uh, we sort of don't don't talk about sort of finals. Um, it's it's a week to week thing. And um, you know, as I said, there's a phase now of the next five games where the you know, see where we're at there, and um, you know, if it happens to be finals, then that's that's good. But yeah, we're just working uh, week to week, and tr- this week against the Eagles. I think it's uh, Fletcher's birthday. He's pretty quiet uh, by nature. What does he get up to uh, to celebrate the uh, the big occasion? Oh, he's come to training nice and early, so that, that must be what he wants to do on his birthday. But yeah, Fletcher's a, a great player and a super person. So um, yeah, it's good to get around him on his birthday today. Has the club been able to afford all the payments? <laughs> Um, yeah, I think think we can afford it. So, um, yeah, as I said, you know, it's a it's a great day for Fletch. So we'll um, have a good training session for him. Keith, you've got some big scalps over the last few weeks. Who do you expect to get um, this week against West Coast? 
Uh, not sure, you know, they've got a, such a good midfield, you know, any any three or four of them you, you could pick up and the other the other two would, you know, have a good game. So I um, think it's sort of a team team emphasis on, you know, trying to trying to beat them inside and um, we'll just, yeah, see how it goes. It's a team you sort of struggled against the bigger teams in recent years, but you, you know, beat Carlton this year, played pretty well against Collingwood. Are you more confident when you're coming up against sort of top four teams this year compared to sort of 12 months ago? Yeah, I think sometimes the pressure of the game sort of, Makes players play play better, and um, yeah, I guess this week's going to be a, a tough challenge for all the all the players, and we'll just um, yeah hope hope we can um, come out and play well. Thanks, mate. Yeah.